Hey YouTube, um, so I just told you the story, I sold a fugly truckling and I, I wanted to give you an update on what's going on in the shop. We have things happening again. I feel like I've come out of, uh, what do they call that, hibernation? It's, uh, this place is a mess. Let me, let me, here, let's, let's make you nauseous and, but let's take the camera off here because, so, <clears throat> Uh, so the garage is a disaster. Um, I'm in the middle of a project here. This is going to be, this is part of a, a lift. I've got a buddy that I'm modifying. So basically, he picked up this engine hoist. I don't know if you can see it real well, a little fold-up engine hoist. He has a rooftop tent on his Tahoe, but he can't get it into his garage because it's too tall. It won't fit, but he wants to get the tent off. So he, he wanted me to modify this, build something, That'll, that'll lift it off, and he saw some guy that had built basically an extension on the boom so that you could drop a, a hook on it. I've got a little bit different solution for it. This will be actually a small project video. It's probably not going to be a, a real great video. It's probably going to be more like a, I don't know, I may try my hand at making a short, like a short video for it. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. But um, that's one project. The, uh, those of you that remember the, uh, uh, almost fell down. All right. Those of you that remember the, uh, Corten fountains, those are actually installed and I've already done some work on them. I got to go back and I'm, this is like three weeks later because I have been so busy trying to catch up with other projects, but I have to go back and they want me to... What did they want me to do? They want me to. They wanted the flow turned up a little bit, which is fine because I turned the flow down. So uh, it's not a big deal, not a hard. I just got to pop it up and whatever. But there's some other little modifications that have to happen. They, one little thing. I, I still need to level them, uh, but you know, trim them, the little trays and stuff. Which that, unless you're familiar with what they are, you, this doesn't make any sense. But it will when you get when we get that video done. And that's what I'm basically saying is when I get the, when I finalize those, there will actually be another project video. Again, probably not super interesting. It's just those fountains. Um, but as I mentioned, I sold the Fugly Truckling, which was the, the 2006 uh, 2500 HD. Um, yeah. Uh, that kind of left me in a, a rough spot. I don't have a vehicle. <laughs> so, there's been... Uh, I don't actually have to get anywhere right now. I'm in the middle of a project that I, I actually need to get... I do need to have some sort of transportation. I do have jobs that I have to do. Uh, but I don't need anything that's quite as big as the that three-quarter ton. But... Um... My initial solution may not work. Initially, I thought, you know what I'll do is I'll just use the Jeep. Well, the Jeep, the other day, I fired it up, started driving it, and it immediately started having, giving me issues with um, the transmission didn't want to shift right. I have uh, since messed with it a little bit. I think it's running a little better, so we'll find out. We'll, we'll see. Uh, you know, it's one of those, I don't know. The transmission may just need to be pulled and rebuilt. But it could be, you know, I reset the TV uh, cable on it and I fiddled around with making sure the electrical connections were all real solid. And it seems to be driving better. One of the biggest problems I had with it, though, was the uh, throttle cable was all screwed up. So I replaced, I, I put a little aftermarket throttle cable on it and we'll see. But the Jeep is something and we will... We will do a featured video of, of the Jeep. I'll probably do that. I may do that this week. It just depends on how my week goes. I'm real kind of busy trying to get certain things done. But uh, I'd like to get a featured video on the Jeep and discuss what it is, why it's the way it is, and uh, what I've done to it, and what I kind of have a wild idea that I might do something to it. Um, maybe soon. I don't know. It won't be... Maybe by the end of the year. We'll find out. Just depends on how things turn out. 
Um, another thing though, since like I said, I'm, I feel like I've come out of hibernation and one of the things I've been working on the last few nights is the Ranchero. Yeah. So, oof, I don't know what that is. I just turned something on on the camera. Doesn't matter. Um, well, maybe it matters. I don't know. How do you get rid of that? Oh, there's an X. All right. So, um, what I'm working on right now, I've had to make a few pretty major decisions, you know, a couple of major decisions. One, it, where the battery used to set is up here. This is where, when it came from Ford, the battery set here, a little 24F. Uh, battery sat here. Problem is, what with the V6 and all the ancillary pieces and the all that kind of, cr I don't really have room here anymore. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to route the uh, snorkel. The air intake is going to come out, go across, and then dive down. And then we're going to have the the throttle position, not throttle, the uh, mass airflow meter set down here. And then we're we'll either build an air box, but initially. That might come later. Initially, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a uh, one of these little cone air filter things on there, and we'll just leave it like a cold air intake, like the little ricers run. And I, what I'll probably do is this is kind of corroded because of they're always that way when the battery sits here. So I may dress this out to be a more formal cold air intake. Right now, I went back and forth on this for a while the uh, the radiator. Initially I had planned on just putting a uh, Falcon, you know, Mustang Falcon radiator in because it'll just bolt right right to the radiator support. And what's interesting, so a V8, there's two radiators that were offered. The V8 radiator, so the factory radiator, the old Falcon radiators were, uh, ver they, they, they had a top can and a bottom can and so it's the actual surface area of the radiator is about the same, but it uh, instead of going cross flow, it's vertical. It's up and down. So on the V8 radiator, which is probably why they don't really work that well. One of the problems they have is they put the in they put the inlet on the uh, top right and the outlet in the bottom right. Uh, the V6 radiator same or same same exact radiator except the outlet is on this side so I literally which is like this the V6 that we've got here the the 40 and so I thought well you know what why don't I just get one of those a uh, factory V6 radiator we'll bolt it in place and we'll we'll be done but um, then I got to looking at things like the radiator hoses and stuff like so like the factory uh, radiator hose comes around and it comes out here. It's a little wider. You know, I thought you know, it'd just be easier to uh, build a new support for the Mazda Explorer radiator, put it in relatively the same position as it was from the factory. And then it's a deal of like if I blow a radiator hose, I don't have to go find some weird thing. It's this ubiquitous hose that they'd used for long time on those 4.0s on the little four liter six and uh, you know just plug and play it's not some sort of custom custom part the other thing I've been working on is the wire loom oh my goodness oh my garage so the wire loom so here's part of the wire loom I've opened it up I've been going through making sure everything's what I need and where it goes and that kind of stuff I cut a hole for the factory firewall um, grommet and I found a place to mount the computer. It's going to set, um, at this point, I'm thinking it's going to set above the glove box. So it'll be, you won't really, you won't see it, but I'll build a little bracket and mount it up there. And the other thing I've been doing is removing some of these old, so this is part of the tower brace. So the factory uh, Mustangs and Falcons had this stamped sheet metal. You can see part of one left here. This guy, I'll cut this one off too. I, this, I still have some n nice things down under here that'll cut you open. I gotta get rid of those. But uh, while I was at it, so I, that's what this cardboard was here for, but I'll cut that loose, clean that up. But they used to come, the brackets, the braces used to come back over here and support the shock towers 
because the fenders were built up. They had the shock towers, and that was part of the suspension. And uh, since we're now setting on a solid frame with a totally different type of suspension, we don't need any of that. And it's just in the way of the motor anyway. see down under here but I had to do some patchwork cleaned up over here and that has been cut loose ground down cleaned up and that's where I'm going to attach the new brackets for the bottom uh, support for the radiator That's where we're at on the, the, the Ranchero. I never actually gave you some of the older updates, though, too. So some of the stuff that I did quite a while back. Oh, there's the computer setting on the transmission, transfer case, whatever. Uh, the original, the uh, Mazda transfer case was the push-button transfer case. I managed to find this little guy right here. This is a standard one with a shifter. So you can see the shifter right here. There's my under dash air conditioner. Um, so it, they just swap out. And the reason it was the push button is just overly complicated. And it has like a, a whole wire loom that's all its own. And it runs to the very back of the Mazda and, or the Explorer or whatever. And I just, you know what, I just said, I don't have time for that nonsense. I would rather, I'd rather just the old school shift lever and be done with it. But uh, anyway, I think, I think that brings you up to speed. There's a few things work, you know, like I say in the works, but uh, there's a, couple of great big doors that I got to build. Um, I'm not really sure that I'm going to, probably not going to feature any of that in a video. I might shoot some, I mean, I'll shoot some uh, when they're done kind of thing after they're installed, but it's kind of a boring installation. Or it's a boring build. There's nothing, nothing to it, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of feeling liberated now. I sold that truck and it has thrown a little bit of chaos into my life, which is, I've not been sleeping well. <laughs> but it's uh, been somewhat liberating and we're working towards getting, uh, you know, getting some other stuff done. So, all right, so anyway, that's all I have for now. That's what I wanted to share with you, was just to bring you up to speed. We've got these projects coming. I've got the fountain video, the lift video for the rooftop tent. We've got, uh, the, the Jeep video I'm going to put together for it and we're working on the Ranchero again and, I'm, and I'll probably uh, yeah we'll be having regular updates on that for the next few weeks at least that's the way I see it now so till next time bye